Hey everyone, this is Geeky Pen here on the Geeky Pen about Ryan Guys with another gameplay commentary. This time, I'm going to be going over my impression of the new anime series Gate. So, I have to say, Gate is damn. Like, it came out swinging, providing, you know, mixing both aspects of medieval style fantasy anime with modern military aspects and it is just literally it's to me it's a breath of fresh air this is going to appeal for those who like fantasy and those who love military action it's like the best of both worlds here now for a storyline here as i you know description here on crunchyroll on august the gate suddenly appears in tokyo's ginza district unleashing a portal where monsters medieval knights and other fantasy beings come from another world and wreak havoc on zokyo the japanese defense force take action against these monsters and push them back into the gate third reconnaissance team is dispatched into the special region led by officer and otaku itami on their travels they are joined by a beautiful elf girl who's a survivor from dragon's rampage and a guide the group across the dangerous new world and the diff like this series is awesome i love the story the characters the animation and just the voice work and everything it just it all fits so well like the main character itami he is an otaku. He's a guy that I can get behind of. And there's so many great quotes. As And there are a lot of references and Easter eggs to other animes, as well as video games and pop culture. Like in episode 6, Ride of the Valkyries, there was, I kid you not, an Apocalypse Now scene full on with the song and a few other references from the movie including uh why they sit on their helmets in the helicopter so i thought that was freaking hilarious and awesome but as of right now they are currently on episode eight and so far i love where it's going this is definitely a must watch for those out there wondering if this anime series is worth it personally to me it is you know i cannot wait you know how it'll end like i'm wondering if it's just going to be like it's going to be like uh, more than one season i'm hoping it is you know with uh, animes nowadays but for those of you you know like why else should you watch it because come on like this is awesome like i've been watching it on crunchyroll if you don't have a crunchyroll account you can make one for free and you can watch it but do know if you're a premium user you get to watch it every friday at one o'clock eastern standard time when it comes out on japan and it's it's great like even the voice acting's top notch too so uh anything i dislike nothing really like it's really interesting how the anime the story wise it's both co comedy action and there you also get a serious political side where japan is trying to figure out you know their military is trying to figure out how the other world and the special region how their economy works how it you know politically how how it's set up because you know an empire force invaded their territory they pushed it back now they try to figure out okay how does everything work what is good what is bad everything and you know at the same time in the real world japan's like the only country with this gate and all the other countries are like oh what the hell you know why can't we use it for ourselves so you really do get like this you know it, it, it gets it gets it gets pretty serious when you really think about it it's like it, and it's like to me each episode gives like like gets you closer and closer like you're building a puzzle and you're you're starting to see the whole picture now so personally to me you know some of my there were really some really good episodes in there episode six rather the valkyries of course is a good episode also i you know I mean, the first one definitely like reeled you and you seriously have to watch it like when this empire medieval fantasy force came in it was during when itami our main character was going to you know was going to a otaku event trying to buy stuff and it's like he got pissed that he couldn't buy it because there's like this invading army so as of that you know like even on Crunchyroll, even it's they gave it really good reviews from uh, fans out there. So personally, I definitely definitely give it a watch. So I'm gonna end off here with this, folks. Uh, if you've been watching this series, please post it down in the comment box. Also, above all else, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button as well. So and and as always, this is Kiki Panda here on the Kiki Panda Blocks. Now to remember, stay geeky, my friends.